The uh, first of two ground umbilicals will retract uh, from the side of the vehicle at about the T-minus 35 second mark. That will uh, initiate auto sequence start. T minus 50 seconds. Vehicle to internal power, ground propellant feed. First of the two umbilicals now retracting. We are ready for the launch. T minus 30 seconds. The uh, second umbilical now retracting, initiating auto sequence start. We have main engine ignition, engines and turbo pumps up to flight speed. Five, four, three, two, one. Engine turbo pump at flight. And liftoff. Fifty years after a small step for man, the Soyuz rocket and its multinational crew take a giant leap off the launch pad, bound for the International Space Station. Good first stage performance. The Soyuz delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. The nighttime sky is creating a halo-like effect as the Soyuz arcs to the northeast away from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in pursuit of the International Space Station. Everything is nominal on board. 40 seconds. The spacecraft, the vehicle are nominal and they're stable. Copy. Good reports from the blockhouse in Baikonur, punching a hole through the clouds overhead. Good engine performance being reported. 60 seconds in, your pitch roll are nominal. Copy. One minute, 10 seconds into the flight. Alexander Skvortsov reports the crew is feeling well. Now going through the period of maximum dynamic pressure, leaving a contrail. The Soyuz traveling almost 3,000 miles an hour, 15 miles in altitude, 10 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. One minute, 45 seconds after launch. All uh, structural parameters reported to be in excellent shape. A good view inside uh, MS-13. Alexander Skvortsov at the bottom of your screen, at the top of your screen, Luca Parmitano as we stand by for first stage separation. Yes, the jettison is confirmed. First stage separation confirmed. Confirmed, third stage separation is confirmed. Affirmative. The vehicle is stable. Copy. The Soyuz now traveling uh, 4,500 miles an hour, 29 miles in altitude, 29 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Two and a half minutes into the flight, all structural parameters reported to be in excellent shape. Second stage uh, performance uh, reported nominal. The launch shroud has now been jettisoned, and now we're seeing a view from a camera on the second stage of the uh, Soyuz rocket. We will no longer see in-cabin views. Uh, that uh, external camera activated by Alexander Skvortsov uh, from a uh, button on his control panel. But a great view of looking down uh, the Soyuz uh, booster. Again, this view from a second stage camera on the Soyuz rocket. Three minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, everything proceeding normally. And 20 seconds, the second stage engines are operating nominally and everything is nominal on board. We're feeling well. Two hundred and twenty seconds, the flight is nominal. 
Yes. Copy. Everything is nominal on board. Four minutes into the flight, uh, almost halfway through powered flight, as the Soyuz MS-13 and its trio uh, of crew uh, continues its uh, flight uphill and the beginning of a six-hour journey to the International Space Station, a spectacular view from a second-stage camera on the Soyuz booster. The Soyuz traveling uh, 8,500 miles an hour, 91 miles in altitude, 248 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Copy. Everything is nominal on board. Second stage separation is confirmed. And you see uh, the aft skirt uh, from the uh, second stage separating. Second stage separation is complete, uh, continuing to uh, receive downlink video from the Soyuz booster at the five minute, 15 second mark into the flight. Three and a half minutes of powered flight remaining. The Soyuz being powered on the uh, singular uh, capability of its third stage engine. All parameters are reported in excellent shape. Nominal on the board, we are feeling well. Three hundred and thirty seconds in, the third stage engines are operating nominally. The Soyuz now traveling over 10,000 miles an hour, 111 miles in altitude, 417 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. 350 seconds. The flight is nominal. And by the way, at the time of uh, third stage shutdown and orbital insertion, the ISS will be uh, flying over the far eastern coast of Russia near the Sea of Japan, almost 2,500 statute miles ahead of the Soyuz as it begins its uh, chase to catch up to the station in earnest. Six minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, two and a half minutes of powered flight remaining. Two hundred and ninety seconds. The launch vehicle parameters are nominal. Copy all. Everything is nominal on board. The crew is feeling well. All the parameters are nominal. As you can hear, uh, Alexander Skvortsov continuing to provide uh, progress reports uh, to the uh, Launch Control Center in Baikonur. At the time of third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation, uh, control of the uh, Soyuz's flight to the International Space Station will be reverted back to the flight control team at the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov on the outskirts of Moscow. Seven minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, the Soyuz traveling 13,200 miles an hour, 124 miles in altitude, 715 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. 440 seconds in, the vehicle is stable. Copy. Everything is nominal here. Good reports continue uh, to be received back uh, from the blockhouse in Baikonur good structural parameters. The third stage engine uh, continues to burn as advertised as we approach the eight minute mark into the flight. 470 seconds in, third stage engines are operating nominally. Copy all, everything is nominal on board. We are feeling well. Four hundred and ninety seconds. The vehicle is stable. Copy all. Everything is nominal here. We are feeling well. Eight and a half minutes into the flight, about 15 seconds away from third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation. Your pitch roll are nominal. Copy. We are standing by for KO and everything is nominal on board.
And we have third stage shutdown and separation. Third stage separation is confirmed. Congratulations on the nominal orbital insertion. Mission Control Moscow is here. Vyacheslav is here. Congratulations again. Copy all. Thank you very much. And you can see uh, the Soyuz solar arrays beginning to unfurl as planned. Mission Control Moscow, how copy? Loud and clear, how us? Loud and clear as well. And we have confirmation of a perfect solar array deploy. All navigational antennas have also been deployed. A textbook launch for Soyuz MS-13, three new space explorers en route to the International Space Station, 50 years to the day that Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon. Okay, we are on page 35, and please perform all those steps. And uh, we are standing by for the readings from the flight engineer for page 36. Moscow, this is Utios 2, and are you ready to copy the first reading? Yes, we are. SR pressure 7, 9, 8. BO pressure is 8, 1, 3. STL pressure is 8, 44. Copy all. And uh, RDR will need to go through the KRL. Actually, it's complete already. Copy. I'm deactivating KDU pressurization. Copy. <laughs> 